nuts that time of the week again you're here with your boy will aesthetics coming at you on youtube follow me on instagram snapchat facebook you know it man i'm everywhere twitter all right so this one is a leg day all it was really all it was this day all i did was squat sumo deadlift and stiff leg deadlift but man it was it was crazy by the end of the whole workout i really felt like i was about to throw up so I actually called it. I wasn't. Um, I was actually planning on doing the uh, what they call uh, like the add-ons for like leg exercises, stuff like that, like leg extensions and leg curls and all that stuff. But I seriously, I wasn't. After that, I wasn't feeling. It, it was just way too much. So this video, I want to talk to you guys about proper form when squatting and going through deadlifts, um, which is basically it's almost the same thing. You have to, and by the same thing, I mean you have to make sure that your body is in alignment. Your, you know, like the uh, the, the checkpoints, which is the checkpoints would be the shoulders, the hips, the knees, the um, uh, your ankles, stuff like that. So basically, by that, I mean of course the the knees aren't going to be in alignment with your hips, uh, and they're not going to be in alignment with. Uh, your ankles and your shoulders when you're at the lower point of the uh, the rep, you know, for the squat. Now the thing is though, you, I don't know if you can see, you can tell, but of course you can. But I'm saying, uh, take a look at the uh, at the barbell. As the rep goes down, or as I go down in the rep, you want to make sure that the barbell stays over the the heels, over your ankles. So basically, the bar shouldn't travel forward. You shouldn't have the bar being behind your feet. It should be going straight down, straight line, and then come back up. You know, uh, you know it's it's up for discussion and you know debate. There's a lot of uh, people, and I believe this for a long time. Is like your knees really should not move. They shouldn't travel forward. You know, but the thing is, it's just it's kind of a stupid to think of it that way because if they didn't move forward, man, you'd fall back. You know, it's it's. They're like, well, it shouldn't go past your, your toes, whatever. But the thing is, you have to remember, everyone is different heights. Shorter people and high, and taller people have different you know, body frames, man. You know, some people have longer legs, some people have shorter legs. So shorter legs, actually, you need less motion to go through the whole motion. Does that make sense? You need less distance. So whether it's someone with shorter legs or they're, they're shorter, their knees wouldn't travel forward, wouldn't move that much. Someone who's taller needs that extra space. So that's something to keep in mind, you know, whenever you're lifting, whenever you're seeing someone lift, it's like everyone varies. So keep that in mind. Sumo deadlift, look at that ass, man. No, I'm just kidding. So for sumo deadlift, you wanna make sure that your feet are pointed out. For this, it's very important that, you're, that when you come down, your knees are actually pointed in the same direction as your feet. Uh, you want to make sure they don't collapse in. And by that I mean like there's, you know, like when you're squatting, they're going, your knees are traveling straight forward. When you're doing this, you don't want them to tra traveling straight forward. You actually want your legs open. You want to, you want your knees to follow that path. You know, the, your, the, the way your feet are pointed, that's where your knees should go. Uh, and then the, your hand placement. Uh, you can do this specific grip, you know, when, uh, when it's lightweight. You know, it actually works on your forearms too. I think it's 40% or 60, up to 60% of your of the weight of your, of your max weight. You know, and then this, uh, and then that you can vary. You know, um, but basically, it's gonna work on your on your grip strength. You know, your forearms, all that stuff, all the good stuff. And then we have uh, this is the third exercise I did. It is stiff leg deadlifts. You can't really see too well for this one. I'll actually make another video kind of like giving you the side view too but for this one the weight is traveling straight down as close as it can as, as close as you can hold the bar to your legs uh the thing with this is you have to make sure that on uh, there's the alternative grip this uh real quick this is basically when um when your legs i'm sorry when when your forearms start giving out you know it, for some reason it gives you more more grip strength you know more strength to, to grip the bar um and for this one, you uh, you you make sure the the weight travels straight down, you know, as close as you can to your body, to your legs. 
This, you have to move your hips back, so kind of like sit back, and your knees are gonna be bending just very slightly. Uh, and the main focus for this one is the hamstrings. So you might feel it a little bit in your lower back, but the main focus is the hamstrings. So as you're coming down, you feel that, that stretch, and as you're coming back up, you feel them engage. So this is a good hamstring and glute exercise. Cool guys, if you guys have any questions, comments, just leave them in the comment section, and I will get back to you ASAP. Nice talking to you, and hope to keep hearing from you guys. I've had good feedback. So uh, we're up to 62 subscribers. Once I reach 100, I'll make a special video. So cool guys, keep making gains in mind, body, and soul. Take it easy.